Hey, come here, come here, listen. Do these words sound familiar to you? Creative block, graphic design, inspiration, haircut. Oh, they do? You felt those things before? Or you know what those things are? Or maybe you're looking at me and you're like, that guy needs a haircut? Fair enough. Well, you're in luck. You're in, the, you're in the right place. Welcome to a new video idea. This is the new thing that I'm going to do here because I think it's really cool. Uh, new Elliot, rebrand, Elliot 5.0. But at this rate, let me give you some context before we jump in, okay? I run a little thing over on my Twitch channel. Some of you might know I stream on Twitch. I run a little show over there called Design Chef. It's like a 60 minute show that I do in three hours where I uh, will give everyone a challenge and we all have 60 minutes to complete it. And at the end, I look at everyone's work. I praise the hell out of them. We have a lot of fun and it's all like a little, it's, it's very theatrical. I'm a theater kid. What can I say? I can't change the past. It's definitely the favorite thing, my favorite thing that I do. And I was like thinking, oh, Elliot, you have no ideas for YouTube, mate. What happened to all of your brilliant YouTube videos? You know, I can't just do Animal Crossing videos forever. I can't do tutorials. I don't know what to teach. I am going to give a challenge. I am going to take 60 minutes of my own time to complete that challenge and to do that challenge for you. You will also have 60 minutes to do the challenge if you would like to join in or just watch. And when we're all done, we can all admire each other's work. Uh, if you want to upload it to Instagram or Twitter using hashtag design chef. Twitch is the, the main design. That's going to keep going on Twitch, by the way. So we're still going to have design chef. And this is more like the sous chef, I guess, alternative side chef, but that doesn't have the word design in it. So it wouldn't really make sense. Maybe like design assistant, design friend. Also a notable thing that I do on the Twitch version of Design Chef is that I wear a little chef costume. As you know, I'm not wearing the chef costume right now and that's because YouTube comments are really mean. Until I work up an enough self-confidence by you all commenting, please wear the chef costume, I'm not going to wear the chef costume. You will just get casual clothes, Elliot, for now in my nice new red sweater. But that's how it's all going to work. So I think it'll be a really fun idea and hopefully you will find some inspiration if you can, you know, do design for fun without worrying about client work, without worrying about what other people think and just designing because it's exciting and it's fun. It's a hobby. It's an art form. That's why we do it. That's why you started doing it. That's why we still do it. Go into it with those things in mind about just experimenting, having fun and not giving a crap about what everyone else thinks. You're going to get a lot out of it. I think you're ready to hear what I've got in store for you today. And I've got one heck of a challenge, okay? So get your bloody pens down, screenshot the hell out of this because this is going to be what you're going to spend the next 60 minutes on if you want, okay? Today's challenge is... It's the self-titled subscriber challenge. What the? Someone in the comment section has just released their debut album. It is self-titled, which means that the name of the album is the username of the person commenting. I want you to design the album artwork for this album. Little bonus, uh, what they've said in the comments is the title of their first single. So you can do like featuring this track. You have 60 minutes to do it. Then I want you to submit it online, either on Instagram or Twitter using hashtag design chef so that we can all admire your fantastic work. I think this challenge is pretty cool. It does rely a lot on people commenting and people actually seeing this video. Uh, it's a little bit of an engagement hack, in fact. Uh, if you want to learn more about the algorithm, I'm actually running a small little call. I think it's time to get designing. I'm gonna renew my Adobe subscription. Go. So you're probably wondering, Elliot, the video hasn't been released yet, you jackass. How on earth are you going to find a name and a comment on a video that hasn't been released? It's a very good question, which is why I scoured every single comment on my channel for what, within the last month, for what I thought was the best comment that I could see ever. And I have settled on one and I'm really keen to get designing on this one. It is a comment from an account called Shaunted and it says, nice video jackass from one month ago. This is the palette we're gonna be working with today, you know? <laughs> see in the top left there, that's a timer. So you'll see at different points, you'll, you'll know when, like I'm recording with that on, so you'll know how I go. So if you're like half an hour in, you haven't started anything yet, don't worry, I've been there, okay? So just don't judge me, but also, you know, it's good. So the first thing that I want to do is uh, work with the name Shaunted, I think, and get going. Like we use an illustrator to start with just on a 1000 by 1000 uh, little canvas here. So let's try and play around with a little bit of text, eh? Let's try and uh, play around with a little bit of text here. Um, for those who have kept up with the channel, uh, you'll be very pleased to know 
that I've actually become quite the master of Adobe Illustrator. Oh yeah, I'm like pretty solid at it now, which I'm really happy about. So uh, <laughs> you might learn some, you might learn a thing or two from what I, from what I, all the stuffs that I pull off here. Like, did you know, for example, that holding down the shift button actually changes the size of the text? Only 1% of designers know that little fancy trick. I'm gonna give a go with the curvature tool here. Um, to see what what kind of is going on and see if we can get anything cool um, I've been using this a little bit just to kind of get some cool like shapes and, and type going I find it quite fun to use It's very easy just to kind of like click around and make something without thinking too hard about it We don't want them all to kind of stand out on their own, you know, we want them to kind of like Curve together nicely like I like how this path here kind of like lines up to that real good Like we can do more of that. So I'll try for more of that it's uh, stuff like this that makes me feel truly validated on um, Instagram, you know, because it's such a such a popular thing these days, custom type. Uh, and I sometimes I just feel so so behind with the times, and I just feel so uncool. But this really, this really helps. If I'm being honest, this really, uh, this really helps. Let's just start playing around with the 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 paths of all these. Um, I'm just gonna go around with like the all these different path tools, like the width, the warp, and all that stuff, and see if there's anything I can kind of come up with. I like using the bloat tool, for example, to kind of like uh, stretch out, get some real nice thin lines going on here. Like that's cool how it kind of looks like it's overlapping a little bit, you know, like a little bit of depth. It's a bit 3D. It's a little bit, oh, you know what I mean? I'm really sorry about the things that are coming out of my mouth. Definitely with the U here, we can do some we can do some real cool stuff. I think get a, get a real nice thin. There we go. Look at that. Look at that for the U. That's that's very cool. Hey, that right there. Real good stuff. Real good stuff. Let's do some more stuff just going on, uh, just to cut out the little holes in here. Um, and what I just do is I just fill these in with white for now just so i can see and then we're going to go through with that little uh what's it called the uh path tool path find path finder path tool uh and we're going to go in and fix that up don't comment what it is don't comment what it is because someone's going to take that comment and turn it into an album artwork yeah every comment you say someone could turn into an album artwork so be very careful but also don't because every comment counts towards the algorithm i'm actually selling a call okay so i'm just going through and using the the minus front tool here just above my little chef hat uh, i'm just going to press that and that'll just give us that empty thing so the path kind of just goes you know we get we get rid of that all that nonsense uh, we can do that on that one as well. And there we go. That's looking a little bit nicer, I think. I think that's definitely looking a little bit cooler. A little E shortcut here, uh, which will let us kind of like warp and move it around in a fun way, which is something that I didn't realize uh, with, the, with the E button. It's pretty cool how you can do that. You can even do that with type. If you just press the E shortcut, you can go into this tool and you can just transform stuff like that, you know? It's kind of like Photoshop when you hold down control. Anyone know what I'm talking about? Any Photoshop heads in here? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Photoshop. I miss it so much. Okay, this is looking interesting. This is, this is definitely looking interesting. I still don't know really where I want it to go. This is so not what I usually do, everyone. Oh my god, I'm so... I'm nervous. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be honest. Oh, you know, like that dog with the teeth chatting. I think it'll definitely... A little bit of color or something will make it absolutely pop. Like my clients always say, am I right? Make it pop. Uh, shut up. Debut album. So we got that over there. And then on the right here, I think we'll have it say something different. EP, that's a thing. That's a, that's a music thing. See, that's kind of cool. Now I like this a lot. I like this a lot. On the side is cool. And then what I'm thinking is if each individual one is kind of like sitting in a different spot. That could be cool, right? Like we kind of have them going under and around each other like that. Yes. Yes. Okay, ideas, man. The A and the U look a little bit odd, I think. So let's just move. Now that feels a lot better. I think it gets the vibe across and I think we can do some cool stuff with it in, in the old uh, Photoshop, you know? Yeah, 20 minute check, 20 minutes in. Not too bad. Hope you're doing well 20 minutes in. Uh, if not, uh, well, I, you're probably not 20 minutes in if you've 
because this is an edited version of this hour. By the way, it's very funny. I was because I was thinking like, oh, what if we, what if I uploaded the full hour, the full sixty minutes, and then like as I've I've just hit record and I haven't stopped, and I'm like, I don't want anyone to see this full thing because there are moments where I'm like doing a joke, uh, and then silence for like ten minutes. So, uh, we'll have to rethink that plan. Uh, this is an. EP, I think that could be cool. Um, God, not great with music terminology, am I? LP, EP. What about uh, PP? How about <laughs> PP, everyone? Oh, he's so immature. Summer 2022. I think that's so funny. I recently did a little bit of merch design. Very rare for Elliot, but I had to write summer 22, 2022, and I was like, I love that as a, like a date, because summer means not like summer 2022 was like months ago for. Australia, but it was, it's now if you're in the States and the Northern, the entire Northern Hemisphere, I guess. Did you know that? So now that we have all this, um, I'm thinking the next logical thing would be to take it into Photoshop and see if there's anything we can do with it in there. I think that could be where the magic is going to happen. Uh, so let's take all of this and let's head in and do some texture work, shall we? Ah! Oh my God. You go on your phone for one second, eh? And suddenly 15 minutes goes past. Ah. What I want to try with now is uh, doing like, I don't know, like displacement, maybe displace mapping, uh, something with this with this, uh, this this custom type here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a white background. I'm gonna merge the layers between the custom type and this white background. I'm gonna blur by like 30% that custom type layer. Uh, then we're also going to add a little bit of noise here, like uh, quite a bit of noise actually. Let's add like 15% noise because I'm feeling like big numbers today. Adjustments, threshold, and then, you know what I mean? I think we're actually going to go back on the scale. So instead of adding more threshold, we'll go with less. Uh, and then we can kind of have these like lighter areas show through, which I think are more interesting. Um, so now that we have that, now we can do a little color range uh, and just take all of that stuff in there and then completely isolate it and there we go there's that kind of cool little layer that we've got going on which i like and i really like the kind of faded edges that we're going for as well i think maybe some cool like custom shapes would look nice just gonna go around and make some shapes like that then i'm gonna go up i'm gonna do the same over here edit transform warp okay this is not turning out the way that i thought it would but this is it's still there's definitely something uh there's there's Potentially something here. Turn into like a nice little flower looking kind of thing, which I think is quite cool. Chrissy, wake up. <laughs> Can you tell I spent that little break before? That little distraction break on TikTok? God, I haven't finished Stranger Things yet. I'm up to the final two episodes. And I swear to God, every time I go into TikTok or Twitter, I am running the absolute gauntlet of spoilers. It is scaring me i can say not interested as much as i want and instagram and uh, and tiktok are like hey hey you've watched stranger things you, you you're nearly up to date aren't you and i'm like stop 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 terrible terrible app youtube on the other hand i'm gonna just choose this blue color real quick and we're just gonna oh see oh beautiful we can chuck that in right there which is a nice little touch i'm just thinking like maybe if i selected like this could be random this could be really random if we selected all of the red yeah and then we delete the red from this we delete all that okay i think due to time i'm gonna have to settle on this it's wild it's weird i don't usually I've got to stop saying that because I think it's cool still. I think it's, I don't usually do stuff like this, but I do think this is cool. The best thing that I could do is get rid of the red and then change the type to the red because I really like that color. I just didn't know what I kind of wanted to do with it, you know? I also changed this little thing to it, like almost like a sticker, which I think is nice too. Um, I think the square little, because the, the black text on its own, right? Here's my thought process behind this. The black text on its own was cool, but it kind of like, now that the text wasn't black, it stood out a little bit oddly just there. Like it's, I don't know, bringing too much attention to itself. And for some reason I find that the yellow blends it more. Maybe that's different for everyone, but for me at least it feels more natural when I kind of like stick it in there like that. So that's 
my thought process behind it. I guess the last thing to do now is just to make that little sticker that we got going on somewhere over the top. I kind of like what, what I've got here. So I might just use this as like almost another sticker. And if we kind of get, just go back in here and, 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 and grab a little bit of that text again. And then I guess we can kind of just chuck that either directly underneath or like give it a little bit more space and just put it down there or like randomly, <laughs> we just be real random and we could just chuck it right in the middle, honestly. We can do whatever we want. Rule of threes, like a good joke, we're gonna put this again down here, and then we are going to do a very graphic designer thing, which is just chuck three little black circles. Just like a dot, 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 you know. <laughs> just like that. <laughs> Look at that. Ridiculous, it's ridiculous. Get that in the bottom right. And then let's uh, make that rectangle. God, my layers are a mess. I'm glad my face covers them. I don't want you to see. Four minutes left and I'm feeling good. Now for the final touches, I think I'm just gonna uh, play with merging the layers around and just uh, kind of messing with the hue, seeing if there's any, you know, different color combinations that I might prefer. Something like this, a little, more, a little bit more golden would be nicer potentially. Uh, I think we might just do that. So I just have some textures from a, a design pack that me and uh, Andre Azizov put out like last year. If you want it, it's it'll be in the in the video description. So we can just chuck that over the top like this, uh, and then do a little cheeky multiply, or maybe darken for this one. That just gives us a nice little, you know, like see see those little little effects. Pretty cool, I know. I learned this uh, on TikTok. It's a little magazine ink. One going over the top as well, set that to screen, uh, which will just give it another kind of like layer of little, you know, little stuff going on. We might do it on lighten actually. I kind of prefer that on lighten. Um, and then let's just merge them together. <laughs> that was not a good idea. Oh, that's nice. Hello. I like that a lot. One minute 40 and I can't really think of much else that I want to do apart from maybe just uh, like doing something really random. Doing something really random and just blurring the top or something. Ah. And then we're just going to bring these up a little bit. Get that red really popping. Do I prefer this or this? I think I prefer this. But let's change the opacity a little bit so it kind of blends in. There we go. I'm going to say... Uh, and we're going to leave it at that. We're going to leave it at that. Nice. Very happy with how this turned out, actually. I think this... I think this was cool. I think this is really cool. What do you think? Let me know. If you think it sucks, that's fair. I don't know. The, the design is completely subjective. But I'd encourage you to give designing in 60 minutes a try. Because that's the real... Then maybe you'll understand. Let me know what you think in the comments. And any feedback may be turned into a smash hit single on someone else's album art. So, would love to hear it. Here's the finished product. Well, 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 it. That turned out pretty well, I thought. Hope you liked this format of video. Uh, once again, please, 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 if you have made a design in this time uh, or are completing your design as we speak, make sure you submit it because I think all graphic design is worthy of posting on social media, even those under an NDA contract. But I'd love to see your stuff. Use hashtag design chef and I'll definitely be able to see it. Uh, and a bunch of other people will as well. Make sure you guys all check out hashtag design chef. It's, it'll be cool. It's going to be stacked. I can tell soon. If you would like to join me for the live versions of Design Chef, uh, where I dress up as a chef and we do a little song and dance and you can see, I can, I can see your work in real time. Uh, I review everyone's designs live after I've finished designing. Um, the next one, uh, season seven, we're up to season seven. Season seven is going to premiere uh, on July 22nd at 11 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time, which I believe is July 21st, Thursday, July 21st, 9 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, I think. New York, whatever New York time is then. EST, ADT, I don't know. You guys are very confusing. That's when that'll be on. It's a lot of fun. Can highly recommend checking out. It's a real spectacle and I got some fun tricks up my sleeve uh, because I have a, there's a whole storyline to it. It's wild, it's a lot. Um, yeah. Otherwise, make sure to make... Uh, I have a print store, which is very cool. I have a print store, which you can find in the bio of this video. Uh, and you can go support a little... Support a cheeky little designer by buying a print, if you want. Or a phone case. There's so many things. I'm a... I'm a... Uh, I've got... I've got wares. I've got wares. Oh, wares are plenty. 
can't wait to see you next week, I hope, for the... <laughs> hope I don't take another few months off again. <laughs> for uh, some more Design Chef stuff. And uh, hashtag Design Chef, baby. You did it. You did a Design Chef. You can say that now. You uh, enrolled in the Design Chef School of Excellence. Congratulations. I'll see you next week.